The following presentation is closed caption for the hearing impaired. Every year. Somebody else will be going through it next year. I'm retiring, I swear. Enough's enough. I'm fed up with doing all the dirty work around here. I'm going fishing. And you know that Arch will make good on his debts. He always does. Why bother? Because. Because Alma at the boarding house made the legal charge for her back rent. Because that's the legal process, pure and simple. Because, as full-time storekeeper, part-time mayor, constable, justice of the peace, and dog catcher for this town, that's my job. Which it won't be much longer. How's Arch going to pay anybody anything if he can't fly? I mean, that is how he makes his living. So there's no misunderstanding. I hereby impound this plane in the name of the law. Saying that as part-time constable and justice of the peace. <clears throat> The cranes are up. You know, the fish and game people who want to watch him are always good for a few bucks in Arch's pocket. He's going to have some money soon. As full-time storekeeper, I'm showing you this here tag. That's the price tag on that chain. <laughs> Point that out to your boyfriend. Calgary yesterday was 12 degrees Celsius. The low was a minus three. Edmonton had a high of 11, with a low of minus two. Sam's Illinois here. showed a high of minus two, and a low of minus 12. And in Vancouver, the high was 14. It dropped down to four. Barnaby? Coffee's on, Sam. Have a cup while I check over the bill of lading. Uh, thanks. Claire? Huh? Have you seen that youngster around here before? No one I know. Orphanage down in Edmonton reported a runaway. You're gonna marry me, May. When you grow up. Oh. You never change, do you? Just like the rites of spring. Along with the first whoopers, we can expect Archie behind in his rent, his plane attached for payment, and some sad song and dance about why he's not working. I work. I'm self-employed. I work for myself. Oh, the last of the rugged individuals. Oh, come on, May. Here's a bulletin for you, Mr. Rubbin. If you don't start making a debt in your fuel bill around here, I'm going to add my name to your list of creditors. How could anyone look so adorable in a welder's helmet and be so cold-hearted? Son, mind if I ask where you're from? Not at all. You mind if I ask why you're asking? Oh, well... Strange face in a small town. I'm the sheriff around here. More or less. Oh, the sheriff, that's different. 
And as such, the government sends me printouts now and then. You can't have fit the description on one of them. Now, shall we start again? How do you do, sir? My name is David. Uh, Deuce. David Deuce. My father owns a trucking company, and I'm just making a survey to increase efficiency. Operations, load weight, table of contents, you know. Deuce? I thought that... And you thought right, sir. Deuce is a card, that's true. But it's also our family name. Our roots go way, way back. The name has been changed from the French. It's actually... Doucet. Doucet. With one of those things between the U and the C pronounced... Doucet. Doucet. Make your mouth into a circle. Doucet. 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 That's it. Got a restroom here? Uh, yeah, around back. Thanks. <laughs> What do you think we're supposed to pay our bills with? Tell me that, eh? Oh, May, honey, you make everything sound so bleak. Sweet talk of yours wore off a long time ago, Archie. If you're happy being a bum, that's your business. I didn't mean that. I don't mean that you're a... Maybe I am. I've been saying I am. I don't give orders and I don't take them. I guess that makes me strange enough. You're a good man, Archie. I mean, maybe in some other time, some other place, you'd have been a whaling captain or a, or a mountain man or God knows what, I don't know. But these are modern times, and, and you're just Archie, out of work and out of step. It's good enough for me. It's not for me. Foxtrot 0903. Foxtrot 093 calling Dogface Lake. Come in, May. Over. Dogface Lake. Uh, come in, Foxtrot. How are things at Fish and Game, Chuck? Over. The cranes are up. Tell that boyfriend of yours to start up old paint and get up in the sky and start giving us a crane count. Over. He's on his way. Thanks, Chuck. Over. I see. Our full-time storekeeper, part-time dog catcher was here. Aren't you going to point out that that chain has a price tag on it? Tell him to add it to my belt. Looks like you can tell him yourself this year. No, you don't, Archie! Not this time! <laughs> Off into the wild bill yonder. You're not getting away <laughs> with this! Keep the coffee cold. Uh, 
Oh, May, I should have taken you with me. On a scale of 1 to 10 for beautiful, today would have been an 11. Now <laughs> oh, we just keep flying. Find a place of our own. Nobody ever heard of a social security number. <laughs> Who'd pay for the gas, Arch? Well, I built you a cabin. Sweet smelling boughs. We keep each other warm. Live off berries and nuts. Nuts is right, Arch. Uh, say, Romeo, do you have a preacher in that picture somewhere? Caveman had the right idea. Whack him over the head, drag him into the bushes. <laughs> Arch, better warn you about this cave woman. She hits back. We could learn something from those cranes, May. What's that, Arch? All they do is this little dance, then they mate for life. I have a shop to run here, Arch. I'm gonna leave the channel open. Over. Hang on. I'm gonna do a little mating dance for you. Today, you know? May, I think I got one. Yep, there he is. I'm over Calumet Falls, eh? Looks like this fellow. Probably swung in from the west to avoid that storm center down south. Hey, that's already a pretty good day, huh, Arch? Woo! Lordy, lordy, hold on to your hat, May. I might have done a, a week's work already. Yeah! Jackpot! May, look at them. Look, there's three of them. Look! There's three. Three of them right out there. Looks, looks more like a little of a migration. Really? That's got to be some sort of record for some book somewhere. I mean, they're never up this early. I'm going to jump ahead of the roosting grounds at the lake. If I can spot a few nesting sites, that'll give the Fish and Games boys a head start on surveillance. Over. Foxtrot 093 calling Dogface Lake. Come in, May. Over. Archie, I got another call. Stand by one. Foxtrot, this is Dogface. Go ahead. May, you better call Archie back home. There's some bad weather coming in. We just got a new report. Low ceiling, poor visibility, strong gusty surface winds up to 50 knots. Severe turbulence and unsafe flying conditions to prevail a minimum of 12 hours. Uh, thanks, Chuck. I'll give him the word. Dog pay standing by. Okay, Tarzan, come on in. There's a storm out there. You're about an hour and a half out, and I'll have the coffee on. I already spotted it, May. Just a little spot in the sky. Since I'm up here already, I'll just make a couple passes over the lake, then beat the storm home. Over and out. Archie. Archie! Archie! Don't do this to me. Archie, come in. Archie! Who are you? What are you doing in my plane? I'm gonna be sick. No, wait, wait, wait. Get up here. Come on, get up here. Now, just take deep breaths, all right? Just take it easy, deep breaths, and put your seatbelt on. Hey, that's it. Who in the blazes? Where'd you come from? Please. Look, it's, it's all right. You'll be all right. Just take deep breaths. Don't think sick. 
Big help. A bucket. I don't have a bucket. I don't have a bucket. I don't need a bucket. I, don't, I mean, I don't have one anyway. Just take it easy. Relax. Take deep breaths. I get... That's fine. Where'd you come from, anyway? Huh? It's all right. Just take it easy. Look pretty close to you, eh? First time in an airplane? What'd you say your name was again? David. Well, my name's Archie. Now, what in the blazes are you doing in my airplane? Uh -huh. Take it easy. Now, relax. Take deep breaths. Don't go. Just... Relax. You all right? You still there, May? This is CFUQB calling Darface Lake. Don't go hiding on me now, May. Too much weather. I want to turn back. You can't. We're riding a storm all the way back. I'm not sure the snow mass falls. Right up there. Should be, uh... Don't you know? Too close to the Arctic Circle. This far north. There's funny things in the compass. Makes it jump up and down. You're gonna be all right. You just got the hell scared back in you. Now look. I want you to put this duffel bag in front of your face in case you make an emergency landing. Emergency? It always sounds better than a crash. Try and make. Can you swim, kid? Get out of the plane, we're leaking gas. I thought I told you to get away from the plane. My leg. Thanks to the rain, looks like old paint's gonna stay with us for a while. Sure you're all right? Yeah, but you're not. Maybe you go up there. Get the first aid kit. It's behind my seat. <sighs> going into shock. Come on, Archie. Come on. Just like a break. Something's out of kill there. You're gonna have to do some tugging on that leg before you splint it. Splint it? I don't know how to split a leg. You're about to learn. 
What will I use for a splint? We're in the woods. Full of wood. All right, now. Get down here. Pull on that leg and see what we got to deal with here. Come on, get out. Go ahead. Come on. Shouldn't we wait for a doctor? I mean, surge splints will be coming, won't they? Yes. It's beginning to swell. The longer we wait, the tougher it's going to be. Go on. Pull. It'll hurt. I know. All right. Pull. Harder. Ah. Mister? Mister? Mayday. Mayday. This is UQB. Mayday. Anyone. Called terminal. How's your leg? Oh, it's fine. Fine. You made a real good splint, David. Uh, I didn't know how to do it. You did good. Real good. <laughs> you, um, you rustle up any breakfast? Ta da! Hey! <laughs> nice going. <laughs> But uh, one egg ain't enough for us to uh, Why don't you go find some wild onions and some snails and we'll eat? Oh, yuck. Well, don't knock unless you tried it. Where's your cooking stuff? I didn't bring any. I wasn't planning on going on a picnic. Then we're dead. We're not dead. Now, there's one thing you got to learn. You can always help yourself. And you can always find something to help yourself. David. David, where'd you find this egg? Near the water? Yeah. Something wrong? 
Did you see the mother? Well, what did the nest look like? Was it a big one? Kind of. What? We were forced down in the area of Hoopin' Crane's nest. This turns out to be a Hoopin' Crane. <laughs> That's a big find. So, what's the difference? It's still gonna turn into an omelet. Here. Do you know how many Hoopin' Cranes are left in the world? No, and I couldn't care less. Sixty. Maybe sixty in the entire world. Well, as far as I'm concerned, there's not gonna be sixty-one. This egg's gonna be an omelet. No way. Archie, come on, I'm hungry. I'm hungry, too. Well, how'd you feel if you ate the last buffalo in the world? Full. <laughs> For right now, I'm empty. Well, let's eat it. This is a rare bird inside here. How do you know? I know. I'll tell you how I know. The migration was early this year. I was up there, I saw three, three flying together. That means that the lonely egg layers were here a, a week or more. It looks like an ordinary egg to me. That's because you haven't seen anything but a chicken egg, I'll bet. Think of that golden yolk. All beat up creamy and fluffy and then poured into a hot pan. And bubbling and smelling so rich. Hold on, I know what you're trying to do, but I'll, this is a hooping crane egg. I'll, I'll, I'll stake my leg on it. And if a hooping crane doesn't come out of here, my leg doesn't have to get better. This egg was all alone, all by itself. If I hadn't taken it, another animal would have. There was no mother around. It hasn't got a mother. As now. What? You're gonna sit on that egg? Oh, come on. Oh, brother. As a matter of speaking, it's a warp that does it. That's crazy. Waste of good food like that. That's me, God one love her. miles north of Baker Triangulation. Repeat, go west, one May, west, point miles west. North of Baker I hope they bring some food. Food? <laughs> She'll bring a picnic basket. East. Repeat, east of Lower Wolf Peak Saddle. Over. You gotta save the battery. Don't they know where we are? Well, they're searching for us in our last known position. That storm pushed us 50 miles more. West. They're there and we're here. Well, tell them on the radio. I can't. Got no way to transmit, only receive. <laughs> Not to worry. <laughs> May, well, she'll never give up. Not May. <laughs> All right. Now let, let's put this thing together, huh? Hey, I bet you could blast a rabbit right off this earth. Well, <laughs> uh, that's not for hunting. Uh, now, it goes like this. As soon as you hear an airplane, gas, ow, wood, gasoline, and you stand back over there, huh? Get back. You fire the flare gun. If I had the time and the patience, I'd make a hook out of a snail shell. Right now, this will do just fine. The gorge. Well, come on. You can't walk around a corner and get a hamburger. Not out here. I got it! I got it! Hey, you're quite the fisherman, huh? <laughs> oh, that's a beauty. Mmm! <laughs> now do you miss that egg? You don't chase after Br'er Rabbit. Mm -mm. You make a snare, and you catch him along his run. This is like. Ow! That's what quick isn't quite as way to kill something. How do you know that, kid like you? Where are you from, David? City? Street kid, eh? You know, I never did get your last name. Arm Brewster. David Armbruster. You know, Armbruster Oil? Yeah. Everybody in the company's been treating me like a kid. So I just decided to come out here and make my own survey on the new pipeline. New pipeline, eh? Yeah. It's millions involved. Billions. Armbruster. Well, that's a famous name in the oil business. You any relation? He's my dad. Really? <laughs> Sorry. 
Well, I should have known. What are you doing in my airplane? Checking it out. Wanted to charter it. Must have fallen asleep. Hmm. David Armbruster. Well, Armbruster oil? Right. Yeah? Well, I'm the king of Siam. Do you think we're stuck here? Like forever? <laughs> it's great to be your age, kid. You use the word forever and you get the feeling you'll still be around for the end of it. Are we gonna get out of here, Archie? I'll bet you dinner at one of them high-class restaurants that we do. Tell you what. If we get out of here, it's your treat. If we don't, it's mine. You're on. Wait a minute. If we're stuck here, meaning I won, how do I collect? Details. Details. You make life too complicated. <laughs> That's funny, you know. You suckered me right into that one. All right, let's try her again. When we get out of here, where do you want to head to? Edmonton? Calgary? Edmonton. You got a family there? No. No family. I live in an orphanage. Runaway, huh? Yeah. They treated me OK. They treated me fine. They tried to make it like a real home. And why'd you leave? I don't know. I just had to, I guess. Well, it was great there, really. I had to get out. Just four walls, eh? Yeah. Well, it's simple enough. Just plain wing spreading time. You understand that, huh, Archie? I mean, how a kid feels, you know? I still feel the same way. Be careful. Think it'll hatch? <laughs> if I don't roll over on it. Here. Easy does it. You just save me some fish and... Stop jawing all the time so I can get me a little sleep, all right? History being made. A hooper being born. I was hoping for a turkey that we could eat. Food is what we want, Archie. Food. But you've seen a miracle. You're looking at a miracle. better on the shell. You are seeing the first hooping crane born to a, a Canadian of Scotch-English descent. Sure it's a hooping crane. Sure it is. I've seen pictures. You've seen pictures of them this small? But how can you tell this small? It looks just like a... You hear that? You hear that? <laughs> now that is a hooping crane. <laughs> oh, it is? Yeah. It sounds like a peeping crane to me. You hear how deep it is? That's how you tell a hooping crane. By its beep. It's deep, it's loud. Well, you can hear it a mile away. <laughs> cute little fella, isn't he? <laughs> isn't he cute? <laughs>
Look like me? <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. What's that all Happy about? Happy birthday. <clears throat> Cooper's birthday. Two weeks old today. Congratulations, Wooper. Here's a birthday present. He'll appreciate it. Here, you don't. <laughs> sure. <laughs> He's getting in fine shape, David, thanks to you. Getting all his vitamins. <laughs> you know, I'll say this. If I had to choose who to be stuck on a desert island with, I'd pick you. And the Hooper, too. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. <laughs> Chop, chop, chop. <laughs> well, uh, I guess he's about ready for some breakfast, eh? Oh. You made a friend for life, David. You figure out a name for him yet? Hey, how about Ichabod? You know, Ichabod Crane from the Sleepy Hollow story with Rip Van Winkle and all? Ichabod? Well, sure. Well, he was tall, had that weird-looking nose, and a long neck, and his Adam's apple would go up and down like that. <laughs> you like it? It's all right, I guess. At least when he grows up, he'll be able to fly out of here. Getting to you, hey, David? I guess it's to stay in here in one place. We gotta stay here. Because they won't quit the search. Well, they're bound to get over this way sooner or later. Well, those fellows up there aren't gonna let down a, another fellow pilot. <laughs> no, sir. Um, our own lauder needs tending to. You find anything interesting for breakfast? Oh, yeah, I came across a couple of eggs in the nest, but they were too small. And I figured you'd end up trying to hatch them anyway. <laughs> I'll check the snares. Yeah, well, if you don't find anything, we'll just share with Ichabod. Oh. Ichabod. Ichabod? <laughs> yeah? You like that? Hmm?
Apple 3-5 are calling. Bravo, Apple 3-5 are calling. Go ahead, Ben. May, I'm as far west as Twin Peaks. That's as far as he possibly could have gone. No sign of him. Thanks for the try, Ben. I think we can ride off everything west of here. We're here! Tore something loose. We have time for it to mend. Meaning time is about the only thing we got? <laughs> well, like my old granddaddy used to say, life is full of ups and downs. Can't enjoy the ups without the downs. The thing is, maybe we're on an up right now, just being alive. The down is ahead of us. Probably talking to myself, Arch, but I just remember how you could manage to band-aid and bubblegum patch almost any kind of piece of machinery. So I'm just hoping maybe you did that with the radio, huh? Can you hear me, Arch? Please hear me, Arch. I just want you to know that I'm going to keep searching. Getting a little low on gas. But I'm going to be back up here tomorrow. You take care, you hear? How long are you going to keep it up? Till I find him. Wolves have a job, just staying alive up there when the snows come, let alone people. Well, we got a little time before the snows come. I sure hope that'll be the case. I think I'm going to follow the Marnock Range farther north tomorrow. Well, that was covered almost two months back. Yeah, well, I'm going to cover it again. It's been nine, no, ten weeks now. Figure it this way. If he made a safe landing, he's alive, and could have walked out in that time. If he didn't make a safe landing, if he's injured, let's say, how could he survive for all this time? Well, there's one thing about Archie, he's a survivor. If anybody could have walked out of there, he could have. <coughs> we got enough smoke giving fish in there to open a meat market. Yeah. <coughs> we'll need every bit of it once we start to make our move. 
What's that for? Keep the flies off the drying fish. Looks like a hula skirt. Well, that's the idea. Keep the flies away. Flies don't like hula skirts? <laughs> the Hooper does. He likes a skirt. Sure is a Hooper. Sure. No other kind of crane? Well, he's got a close cousin called the Sandhill Crane. They're more plentiful, and their breeding grounds overlap. What's the difference? The Sandhill Crane stays brown and reddish, like Ichabod is right now. But a Hooper Crane, he turns all white with black wingtips. When will Ichabod turn? If he'll turn. Uh, he'll turn all right. When? Soon. Paul, <laughs> well, you don't like to give a straight answer, huh? You're a hard man to convince, you know. Archie, we could have eaten that egg. Now I say he's a hooper, he's a hooper. You said you'd stick your leg on it, and your leg isn't getting all that much better. It is so. Here. Now, these hoopers, they have this mating dance, see? <laughs> they kind of look at each other, see, like that, huh? And they bow, like that. <laughs> oh, okay. And, and when they look at each other, see, that they kind of look at each other like this, and uh, they kind of bow. Like this, come here. Ichabod, come here. Ichabod. Bow down. Come on, yeah. See? Bow down. Like this. And they stare at each other. And then they jump up. <laughs> they jump up like that, see? And then they flap their arms. And then they wings. Hey, Archie. I think Ichabod is a she. She's looking at you funny. <laughs> Wait a minute. Look up there. The seasons are changing. Better be making our move. I say first thing in the morning. Your, your leg, it, it, it hasn't... Uh, didn't I just do a courtship dance? <laughs> Signs of early storms. We'll be walking out of here. Better be getting ready now. Just I show you what you're in store for. Now, the straightest line south to the nearest road is uh, 170 miles. There are a few mountains in the way. So our best bet is to go uh, northwest uh, and veer down through these valleys right here. It's a lot longer by far, maybe 200 miles. I, I don't have anything, Icker. 200 miles of walking? Something you can tell your grandchildren about. Except the mileage will probably stretch by that time. <laughs> Can we do it? We're gonna try. When we get there, we'll find out if we did or didn't. I'll see you to those snares. <laughs> Get up high. No, the other way. On the way. On the way. Go on. Ow! Give me a hand. 
How much fishing game do you think we got in there? Fit more than 60 pounds. Ought to keep busy till morning. And us up here all night. Where'd you get that yell? I used it to scare the wolf. Well, you scared the tar out of me. Getting in those supplies. Better than him chomping on us. That bear sure doesn't believe in sharing. Well, at least we'll be traveling lighter, eh? Mr. Sunshine. Always trying to be positive. I'm sorry, Archie. Come on, think about I sure hope he learns to fend for himself. That is getting a mite wider, eh? Archie, come on. Well, sure they are. He's gonna be a hooper. Come on, Ichabod. You're waiting on me. You're backing up. To be crossed. I'll lead the way. Can you make it with that? Sure. You go get Ichabod.
everything we do, it is birds are first. The last, as far as I'm concerned. I got you, though. <laughs> 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 if I had a camera. You know, this is, this is one smart bird, eh? Huh. We're two very dumb people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, love. Well, here we go. Big country up there, May. Big. Doesn't even begin to cover it. Make your bet, partner. I'll bet we put about 14 miles behind us today. Only 186 left to go. Will we keep up that average? We'll be at the South Road in about two weeks. What if it snows, Archie? I'll be giving a lesson on how to make snowshoes. Seriously? And a lot of praying. Looks good, eh? Oh, yeah. You never talked about your parents, David. They uh, passed away when you're very young. I never really knew them. I think they were killed in a car accident, but I'm not sure. Once I got a peek in the orphanage records, but it just said parents deceased, no relatives. Any regrets about not being adopted? No, nah, I do all right by myself. that sometimes I get a feeling. Like around holidays, watching TV shows, families eating together, playing together. Huh? All make-believe families anyway. Bet it's mostly fighting with each other in real life. Yeah. That's what it is, mostly. <laughs> Nothing like a brisk walk to whet the appetite, eh? How about taking five, Archie? Oh, we gotta keep moving. We gotta keep those miles behind us. Hey, look up there. They know what's coming. The winter snows that'll freeze your breath. Think about it wants to get up there and join them. <laughs> we will, too. Nature has a way of pointing their noses south. Wouldn't it be great, though, to walk out of the wilderness with a hooping crane? Or we'd be famous. It could buy to the hooping crane number 61 or whatever. And the experts would drool over every feather. Eh? Like I said, we gotta get those miles behind us. Archie, you gotta face it. 
That leg of yours is getting worse. It'll hold. I'm not taking another step. All right. We'll take a minute. Yeah. Two little ligaments, mandibles. Archie! Huh? Look! What? Over there, look it! Look it, a cabin! Look it! Hello! 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 Hey! You go on ahead. I'll be right behind you. Check those covers. Maybe we'll get lucky. Seven course dinner tonight. I do see something else up there. It smells kind of like vinegar. Give it here. Let's get an expert's opinion. That's what it is. Cures warts, chip lanes, boils, <laughs> and broken legs. Drink enough of it, you don't really care. Well, we got a roof over our heads, canned goods for a while, fish out there in that lake. We're in real good shape. Welcome to what I can't carry away. Got to leave with some advice. Get out before the first frost. Lost my partner, Charlie. Almost didn't make it myself. Wish you luck. Done. Should hold us. This place gets any more comfortable. I get the feeling I'm on vacation. <laughs> What's with him today? He's got ants in his pants. <clears throat> Hate to say it, David, but it looks like we're about to lose our friend here. We're losing him? Nature won't let him stay. Now with the snows on the way, they know. Is he ready to go off by himself, I mean? Ready or not. If you are. So you read that note, huh, Ichabod? And you're getting out. <laughs> you know what's good for you. Uh, 
I hate to lose you, you turkey. I'm beginning to like you. Can't we keep him here? Do they keep you? Four walls. It's wing spreading time. Hey, Ichabod. Coming right along on the snowshoes. Yeah. Well, I'll get a pair made in three or four days. Might come in handy going along the trap lines. Might come in more handy you crossing the high valleys if a storm moves in. High valleys? You're walking out, son, alone. Now, with a good pack and food, you'll make it. I'll make it? What about you? Hey, no way am I leaving you here. David, my leg won't take a walk any farther than that lake out there. Okay, you can't walk far. But just forget about me leaving you alone. No way. David, the things you've been saying are, are the things you, you think you're supposed to be saying. But they don't fit the situation. When summer's here, you can pretend things aren't so bad. The winter coming on, <laughs> that's something else. Look up there. That's the northern lights. That's a sign of end of summer and winter's coming on. Well, don't think I'm trying to be some kind of hero because I'm not. There's not a bit of self-sacrifice in me. You're my only hope. Me? Yeah. When you get out of here, you can send a plane back for me. I'm not leaving you alone, Archie. Now, look. Uh, come on. You'd hurt yourself out on that trap line. And maybe you wouldn't get back. You could freeze to death. You think it's better for two of us to freeze to death? I'm not leaving. Now, you listen to me, you blockheaded kid. Once that storm moves in, it, it can be snowing for, for four months, seven days a week, without a break. Then how am I supposed to send a plane back through all that? Like it or not, at the end of the week, I'm kicking you out. Which leg are you using? You know why I won't leave you? Because I know if it was turned around, you wouldn't leave me. Of course I would. It's the only move that makes sense. Because of that lady, huh? What lady? You know. Funny. I was just thinking about it. I guess you kind of like her. The terrible thing now is that I get this feeling I won't be able to tell her. It's like my father died. So many things I wanted to tell him. Yeah. So many things I want to say to May. One in particular. Let's get some sleep. Yeah, it's keep me awake. Good night, Archie. Good night, son. He doesn't want to leave. He will. He's gonna see a flock of birds and want to join them. If he makes it all the way south, <laughs> he'll be a celebrity. Crane watch keeping their eye on him all the way to the southern United States. Too bad we can't get such attention. 
If he was a parrot, we could have taught him to talk. 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 David and Archie and Launch too. Watch my God. Watch. The crane watch will be looking for him? They're always looking for hoopers up here. A and he's not afraid of people. Not us, anyway. Uh, carrier pigeon. Carrier pigeon. Right, 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 right. We're thinking of light. Come on. Uh, first draw the cabin and make uh, wavy lines for the lake. And put uh, latitude 116, longitude 50. Uh, no, uh, 58. Wait. And address it to me. Blood to leave. Go on. Grow up. Be a hooper. You can do it. He's confused. First we let him stay in. Now we're chasing him off. That's it. Here. Fish don't stand a chance around you anymore. <laughs> I've had enough practice. Yeah, that you have. That you have. We got that smokehouse just about stocked. There's enough in there to see an army through the winter. Uh, want to give the old man a hand again? Oh, well, there's an old army saying. Pack twice as much as you think you'll need. You might end up with half of what you really need. Well, we're doing okay, huh, Archie? <sighs> Better than I ever expected, thanks to you. He's a beauty. Big thing is that Ichabod's off with that tag on him. Only a matter of time now. Yeah. Well, I'm afraid we can't depend on that son. That's a long shot. Only thing we can depend on is money in the bank. Smokehouse. Yeah, we can't depend on that either. You closed the door, didn't you? Always. Wolverines. Wolverines did it. Just plain mean. It's ruined. It's all ruined.
but we can't let it get to us. We're not going to lay down and die. I don't intend to. What are we going to do? Same, with, same as we have been doing, laying in provisions. Set on any rabbit stew, Wolverine followed the snare line. It's like everything's against us all of a sudden. Not everything. Hey, nice catch, Archie. And don't I see a steelhead in there? Or broil that one over hickory chips. I'll get these cleaned up. David? Make a good team, eh?
me. I... I love you. I love you, me! I love you! Come on. Hey, hey! Hey! Oh. Hey! We made it. <laughs> thanks to me here. Oh, oh, all right, George. Come on, thanks for the sentiment, but you've already rubbed my face raw. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry about the feathers. I think I'll live through it. You never said what happened to Ichabod. Who? The crane. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> you guys are just lucky that that farmer found the bird before his dogs got to him. What did he do with the crane? Don't know. I suppose he just let it fly on off. How in blazes did you two manage to tag Sandhill Crane? Sandhill Crane? No way. It was a hoofing crane. Sandhill fella, sorry. Sandhill? Sandhill? What's this all about? A long story. Betty's back. She's got Archie with her. Come on. Now, hey, Barnaby, didn't think we'd be seeing you again, Archie. Swore you'd be giving some wolf heartburn up there. Had a few creditors worried, eh? <laughs> Barnaby. I want you to meet my tent mate, David. <laughs> if I went for David, I'd probably still be up there. <laughs> but all good things come to an end, Barnaby. David's a runaway from an orphanage in Edmonton. You better be holding him for the authorities. They want me to lock him up? That's right. Archie, what are you doing? Are you out of your mind? Hey, listen to me. That's all I did for you. What are you doing? Are you Go crazy? Ahead, Barnaby, do it. You are crazy. How's the leg, Arch? Oh, come on, Arch. Hurts a little bit, but... Sometimes this job ain't bad. <laughs> <laughs> Hiya, kid. Well, <laughs> looks like old Barnaby runs a pretty comfortable lockup, eh? Well, this ain't so bad. Good chow. You kept telling him you're getting tired of smoked fish. David? Well, if you weren't here, where would you be? Out in the cold, huh? Very funny. You'd be on the loose again. You'd be long gone, I'll bet. I knew once I got you back here, you'd take off on your own. So I had to figure out a way to keep you put. Until I squared a couple of things away with May here. <laughs> you remember Miss Corbett? Former Miss Corbett. She's Mrs. Anders now. Mrs. Archie Anders. Barnaby just married us. Well, to make a long story short, May and me, uh, 
We also made a few legal type phone calls and. Archie, just come out and say it. Don't beat around the bush. What he's trying to say is, we want to adopt you, David. I mean, we'd like you to be our son. That is, if you'll have us. I'm no bargain. But May here, she's something special to come home to. Come to think of it. You know, prize yourself on manners. But he smokes a mean trout. <laughs> it's a joke about everything, Archie. David, what he means. What he's trying to tell you. It's what we want if it's what you want. Eve really loves you. Is it a deal? <laughs> hey. I wonder if we'll ever see a kabaddi game. Well, I was hoping cranes fly over here every spring. So the sand hills. We'll be here to see it when they do. Maybe I could bother be among them. Wouldn't that be great? Hey, you owe me a dinner. Come on. You ought to see old, old, old Nick about you. Nick about you.